Remember my instructions. Visible under X-ray glasses. What are you on about, Paula? Remember my instructions. Visible under X-ray glasses. What? It's a mnemonic, Alex. A sentence used to help us remember the seven different types of waves in the electromagnetic spectrum. OK, but what is the electromagnetic spectrum? Right. Well, we know that there's two different kinds of waves. Transverse and longitudinal. That's right. Well, now we're just going to look at them in more detail, starting with light. Light? That's a transverse wave, isn't it? Correct. And a very fast transverse wave. Light travels at 300 million metres every second. Which is very fast. And it's not the only one. There's a whole family of waves with very similar properties. And they're all called electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves. Got it. Right. Now, the first thing we need to learn are the names of the seven electromagnetic waves in order. How do we do that? Easy. Remember my instructions. Visible under X-ray glasses. Yes. Now let's look at the words. R is for radio waves. M is for microwaves. I stands for infrared. V stands for visible light. U stands for ultraviolet. X is for X-rays. And G stands for gamma rays. Hmm, OK. That makes sense, but why are the waves arranged in that order? The waves are arranged according to the size of their wavelength and frequency. Oh, I know what this means. If we take a wave like this one, the distance from one peak to the next peak is the wavelength, and the number of peaks or complete waves you get in one second is the frequency? Precisely. Now let's see what the waves look like for each of the seven types. Ah, so if we look at wavelength, radio waves have the longest wavelength and gamma rays have the shortest wavelength? Right, and because the changes in the wavelength are so gradual, this is called the electromagnetic spectrum. OK, but why do we need to know about the electromagnetic spectrum? Because electromagnetic waves are incredibly useful, especially to a gadget man like you, Alex. Huh? Well, for start, radio waves are used for sending radio signals. That's how you can listen to your favourite FM radio station. And you're also using radio waves to control your radio control car. And as for microwaves... Everyone knows they're used for cooking. In microwave ovens. But did you know that microwaves are also used for sending satellite signals? Satellites use microwaves? Yes. They use a frequency of microwave which easily penetrates the Earth's atmosphere. And as for infrared, very useful. TV remote controls use infrared signals to change TV channels. Meanwhile, the North... And police use infrared night vision cameras in their helicopters. Visible light. We see things using visible light waves. True, but they're also used for sending information down an optical fibre. Optical fibres? Like in my optical fibre lamp? Exactly the same principle. And ultraviolet. They use ultraviolet lights in nightclubs. Yes, and if you're wearing something white, then you'll very easily be spotted. And can't you spot a dodgy banknote by putting it under an ultraviolet light. Yes. Banknotes have a hidden security mark, which is only visible under UV lighting. And X-rays are used for detecting broken bones. And they're also used for detecting broken pipes buried underground. And what about gamma rays? Gamma rays are used for killing cancer cells, but they're also used for sterilising things because they can kill all the bacteria on a plastic syringe without melting it. Hmm. So, electromagnetic waves are really useful. They are. And you need to remember... Remember my instructions. Visible. Under X-ray glasses. 